In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about improper integral. Definition of improper integral. An improper integral is a definite integral that has either or both limits infinite or an integral that approaches infinity at one or more points in the range of integration. Four questions are there. If you see these questions, then observe that infinity is there in the limits. So in the first question, the upper limit is infinity. In the second question, lower limit is minus infinity. In the third question, both the limits are infinity. Fourth question also, both the limits are infinity. So if we see the definition of improper integral, that an improper integral is a definite integral that has either or both limits infinite. Okay, so first kind of uh, improper integrals here. Then an integrand that approaches infinity at one or more points in the range of integration. If we see these examples, then observe that the integral becomes infinity at the limits or at any point in between the limits. Let us say in question number 5, the integral fx equals to 1 by square root of x. Now, if we put 4, then square root of 4 is 2, which is finite. So, there is no problem. But if we put x equals to 0, then fx becomes 1 by square root of 0, that is 1 by 0, which is infinite. That's why this is the improper integral. Next, in question number 6, the integral is 1 by square root of 2 minus x. The limits are 1 and 2. If we put 1, then 2 minus 1 is 1, square root of 1 is 1, and fx is 1, that is a finite number, so no problem with the lower limit. But if we put x equals to 2, then we see fx equals to 1 by square root of 2 minus 2, that is 1 by 0, which is infinite. So, this one is also an improper integral. Now, in question number 7, the integral is fx equals to 1 by square root of x into 1 minus x. Now, if we take the lower limit x as 0, then fx becomes 1 by square root of 0, 1 minus 0. So, this is 1 by 0, which is infinite. Again, if we take x equals to 1, then fx equals to 1 by square root of 1 into 1 minus 1, which is also infinite. So, at both the limits, the integral is infinite. Therefore, it is also an improper integral. In question number 8, the integrand fx equals to 1 by x cube. So, if we take x equals to 1, then If we take x equals to 1, then the integral fx equals to 1 by 1 cube, that is 1. And if we take x equals to minus 1, then fx equals to 1 by minus 1 cube, that is minus 1. Both of them are finite. So, for the limits, there is no problem. But if we take 0, which is in between minus 1 to 1. So, fx becomes 
1 by 0 which is infinite so in that case also this integral is an improper integral for the first kind of improper integral there are three types of improper integral type 1 improper integral type 2 improper integral and type 3 improper integral so let's see type 1 improper integral where the upper limit is infinity so here is one example integration 0 to infinity dx by 1 plus x square and the upper limit is infinity so let us solve this integration the way to work out this integration is that we have to take limit and then x tending to infinity at the place of infinity we will put x and then the integral as it is. Now we will find the integration and we will put the limits both of them are finite 0 and x both of them are finite. So we have got integration 1 by 1 plus x square dx as tan inverse x and we have put the limits 0 and capital X. So we have got tan inverse x minus tan inverse 0. Now let us find the limit. So limit tan inverse x. So at the place of x there is infinity. Tan inverse 0 is 0 and tan inverse infinity is pi by 2. How? You see here tan inverse infinity tan inverse tan pi by 2. Next is type 2 improper integral. Type 2 improper integral means the lower limit is infinity. So here the lower limit is minus infinity for this example. Integration minus infinity to 0 e power x dx. Let us work out this integration. The way to work out is to take the limit. So here the lower limit is minus infinity. Therefore we have to take capital X tending to minus infinity. And integration in the place of minus infinity we have to put capital X and upper limit is same then we have to find the integration integration e to the power x is e to the power x only and then putting the limits so we are getting e to the power 0 minus e to the power x now we have to find the limit we are getting 1 minus limit x tends to minus infinity e power x as 1 minus e power minus infinity and e power minus infinity as we know as 0 therefore the value of this integration is 1. Type 3 improper integral here you see that both the limits are infinity and the integrand is x by x to the power 4 plus 1. Look at this integrand at infinity fx is infinity by infinity which is the indeterminate form at minus infinity fx is minus infinity by infinity which is also indeterminate form in this case we have to break the interval here the interval was minus infinity to infinity it is broken at 0 sometimes we may break it at any arbitrary point A. So here I have broken at 0. The integration becomes minus infinity to 0 x by x to the power 4 plus 1 dx plus integration 0 to infinity x by x to the power 4 plus 1 dx. The first integration becomes type 2 integrations and the second integration becomes type 1 integrations because in the first integration lower limit is minus infinity and in the second integration the upper limit is infinity now let us find the indefinite integration of x by x to the power 4 plus 1 let us substitute x square as t then 2x dx is dt x dx is dt by 2 so x dx substituted by dt by 2 
that half is taken outside of the integration and in the denominator there is t square plus 1 and integration t square plus 1 is tan inverse t and there is one integration constant so the integration becomes half tan inverse x square plus c now let us put this in the first integration then we will solve it by type 2 integration style taking x1 tending to minus infinity and putting x1 in the place of minus infinity and then substituting the integration of x by x4 plus 1 dx as tan inverse x square. Similarly, for the second integration, we are taking here x2 tending to infinity and in the place of infinity we are putting x2 and then again doing the integration of x by x4 plus 1 which is tan inverse x square and let us put the finite limits x1 0 and for the second case x2 0 and then take the limits and you will get the result as 0.